So what's up YouTube? Today is Saturday, it's about afternoon time so I'm gonna go get some lunch and it's quite sunny and really hot outside so I'm gonna make most out of it and go to a restaurant that I haven't tried. It's actually a vegetarian restaurant called Root and Vegetables so that's right in the centre of Leeds so we're gonna go walk and check it out. So. I'll take you guys with me and show you what I get for lunch. Playing Pokemon the way. So I've been having protein pancakes a lot lately as you may have seen in my Instagram People have been asking me questions on how I've been making them So I thought I'd just quickly run through with you how I've been making them. So let's roll So basically this is what the packaging looks like. This is 500 uh, grams and I've chosen the golden syrup flavor for this and it comes with a scoop there Couldn't be more easier to make But I'll just quickly share with you the macros in case anyone's interested All you need is two scoops of this um, mix and for that it'll provide 187 calories 3.1 grams of fat 1.1 which saturates then for carbs, you've only got 7.7 .7 grams, provide a whopping 32 grams of protein. And you know, salt, it's 1.2 and things like that. So, you know, couldn't be more protein filled or low carb and easy to make. It's great for convenience. So yeah, let's get to it. So I just got a cooking oil, which I've got olive oil in here. So it doesn't stick. Put the heat up. I dial it to about seven. Um, I find that works well. And then all you need is a measuring cup and putting about 100, well, 100 to 150 mils of water. I find with one, 120-ish, it works. Uh, I, the consistency that I like. And then all you need to do is get your two scoops out. So that's one. And I just, and <laughs> this is such a funny video. Um, I just, I just put that in here. I just crunched it. There we go. So just uh, pop it in there. So you have less washing to do. I probably have three more servings in there. But yeah, each. Roughly speaking, for every 500 grams of pouch that you do have, you can probably serve about 10 um, breakfasts. And you know, you can make about like three pancakes for each one, just depending on how big you want them. But yeah, so yeah, all you do, just have it popped in there. Get a spoon. While your pan is heating, so it's ready. So here you can see it's getting a thicker consistency. Now we're gonna pour it into the pan. I'll just turn the fan off when I'm talking. Okay, just turn the fan off when I'm talking, but obviously it's better to have it on while you're cooking. But you see these bubbles that are popping up? So when that pops up, that's when you kind of know that the undersurface 
of the pancake mixture is pretty much ready to flip over. So I'm gonna flip this over and show you what it looks like. So there you go, I just flipped it over and as you can see, it's already got a crisp coating. So that one's absolutely fine. Just on to do the rest of the mixture here. So you can see that it does have goblets, so make sure that every time you put it in the pan, you just give it a stir, obviously. Um, so yeah, here you go. Just made three, three pancakes as you can see. They're all different sizes. Obviously, you can make them, you know, as many as you want with that batter mixture that you have. You can make tiny picklet ones um, and just stack them up if you want. But you know, I prefer this size, so this is how I roll. Um, so yeah, um, what I'd like to do with my toppings is put sugar-free syrup from my proteins, and I'm just gonna. Use so that is that. Then what I do is I put a bit of desiccated coconut. This one's just from MS. Sure, you can get them pretty much anywhere. And I just sprinkle a few bits in there on top. What would go great with this is probably like sliced strawberries and stuff, but I haven't got that. And I need to do a shopping today um, to get some stuff. But yeah. I just simply sprinkle that on there. Bon appetit. So you just saw how quick and easy it is really to make that. So if you want to give it a try, just have a go. See if you like it or not. So pros for this is quick and easy to make. It tastes pretty good. You don't need you know, much time, which I said earlier. Um, but you don't need much utensils or ingredients, just depending on your toppings. So yeah. It's a really good, convenient alternative. Um, cons is that, you know, it's not whole foods. It, um, I think it's fine as long as for the rest of the day you're eating whole foods. It's great for a low carb, high protein diet. I'm gonna enjoy eating. I'm gonna enjoy eating it now. <laughs>